Alright, so we've 100%ed World 1, but we uh, messed up a couple times in World 2, and we're just gonna go right on to World 3. Alright. The, I guess the I guess in this game there's kind of some theming with the lands. Like World One is kind of the flower land, World Two is kind of just the generic grassland, and then this is the well <laughs> Well, we're about to see. Free one, welcome to Monkey World. It's the tropical island. Oh, hey. Yes, please. Plus, I love the music on these levels. Hi, monkeys. So the monkeys on this level kind of hop around and cause mischief. They can eat watermelons and spit them back at you. It's fun. They can also throw stuff like that at you. Well, this level's pretty straightforward. I should remember this world, but... Well, I don't remember the exact way that the levels are laid out. This is still a lot of fun, though. I love the how colorful it is. That monkey had a bomb! Turn into stars. Give me your partially eat Yoshi just ate a partially eaten watermelon that a monkey had. It's probably not the healthiest thing to do. Shortcut down here. Aw oh, yeah, secret warp. This world is what you believe was used as Yoshi's Island in Paper Mario. That makes sense. I do love that world, after all. Aw, oh, man. I only got two one-ups. That's okay. There's nothing actually secret hidden up there that we need in order to get 100%. Grab that flower for me. Thank you. It's nice of the monkeys to pick up the flowers for us. Oh. This is where the monkeys can be a little annoying. Pound that peg. Yes, give me that. I don't like the mud. The mud can be annoying to deal with. It makes your controls kind of weird. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, forget this partially eaten watermelon. I'm getting a fresh one. I like the watermelon gimmick where you can eat it and spit the seeds back. So simple, so elegant, so fun. What the? I picked up red coins somehow, apparently. How's it going? Yeah, it's been a while. Hope you're keeping well. We're just playing some Yoshi's Island. Whoop. Were there red coins up here? Like, I spit watermelons up, 
And I think I collected red coins. I hope there's another uh, midway rain. Because I am a little low on stars. Oh yeah, the monkey vines! I think they're... I think they actually grab Baby Mario, though, so you want to avoid those. Thanks for the watermelon, buddy. Oh, you jerkwad. You can apparently collect flowers by spitting seeds at them. Yeah. The monkeys are not there to give you a hand, they're here to steal Baby Mario from you. Do I have a plus... I do. Good. Oh, I'm missing one red coin somewhere, though. That's just fantastic. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Take out that stupid monkey. Oh, great. Where is that red? coin. I'm keeping well. I'm doing just fine. I'm trying to stream a more uh, diverse set of games than I had in the past. Alright, where is that final pesky red coin? Um, not really sure what just hit me there, but okay, sure. Okay, the monkeys are a little more annoying than I remember. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, how's it going? Yep, the fun of missing a single coin and then having to go back for the whole level. Is it just right here? No? I thought I already had pushed all these pegs down, but maybe not. Okay, no, no secret platforms on that side. I wonder if it's just really high. No, it's not really high in the air. Dog on it. Already went to that secret, there was nothing hidden there. I do to get 100%. I don't even know why I'm trying. It's not like I got 100% in World 2. Really? I didn't push that peg down? Alright, well, unfortunately, I don't think I have any of us. Oh, no, I do. Okay, that's good. I'm like, do I have to make red eggs? No. Figures I forgot to push one peg in the first area, and that, of course, was the one that had what I needed. Ah, oh, the monkeys. They're so annoying, but you can't help but love them. They've got the funniest little smiles. Well, I say you can't help but love them. That will change if you do extra number three. More monkey madness. That will make you hate the monkeys with everything in your uh, being. <laughs> that was a near faint. I almost just fell off a cliff right there. That would have been terrible. No. Stupid monkey vines.
plus ten, please. That was weird. The transition from the regular ground to the end ground was... caused me to move differently. Oh, you already hated the monkey's dusk? Alright, well, teach their own, I suppose. Alright, we had to backtrack for the whole level, but we got 100%. That's good. Match cards! Get items! Flip cards over in pairs and get the items shown on the matched pairs. Keep going until you've missed a match twice in a row. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one's kind of fun. Plus ten. I just realized I could go back in the stream to find all the pairs. Oh, I can't exit midway. Oh, whoops. I think that was right here, right? Darn it, that was the wrong color. I think that was right here? Yes! I believe this one was right over here. Yes! Ten up! Oh, whichever one you get last, yeah, it's, it's the ten up. I forget what that one originally was. I don't think it was anything in particular. Oh, yeah, it was the question mark balloon. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, boy, we have a mod. Nintendo Addict, can you... <laughs> Nintendo Addict, you still have the mod privileges. Can you deal with those stupid bots? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they keep s they they are coming <laughs> The bots will return and in greater numbers too. <laughs> Literally, I used to Jeez, I really need to turn down the volume on that alert. It it literally makes me jump every time I hear it. Hey Marching Elbow Oh yeah, we're on level three to Jungle Rhythm. Alright, you little milds. I do not like the milds. They like create a kind of earthquake when you when you hit them, but not like the good kind, the kind that affects you. I think if you just click on their names, you can use ban, or you might have to go to mod view. Yeah, the get out is always a jump scare because I think that that alert for some reason is louder than some of the others. Oh yeah, I love the sound of the shy guys over here. Oh no! Well, we can't get it now. Those two red shy guys with the bridged coins flew away. Let me see if I can... No, because I have it pulled up on Mix It Up. Here, if I get it on my phone, I can get rid of the bots. Also, Pink Yoshi. Talk on it, when I pull it up on my phone, I can't see the old chat. Alright, thanks, thanks Nintendo Addict. Yeah, Baby Mario, I'll get you back, but... Coins. There's another red coin shy guy here. Give me that key. I thought for sure there were two red shy guys here, and now there's only one, and that's kind of worrying. <laughs> Very 
true. Weow, weow, weow. Oh, hey, it's everyone's favorite Pooch. Oh, Poochie, you can actually swim? Kind of. Oh my, Poochie is kind of annoying to use, but he's mostly harmless. How do you like that? <laughs> Get out of here, Red Nose. Alright. You unironically love Poochie. Well, I mean, good for you. In this game, I don't like Poochie. Poochie is so annoying to use. Mr. Flower, thank you. Oh, we gotta go on that side, though. There's money to be had. And it's all red. Now we can refill on it. I'm so glad these egg blocks exist. Alright, good. No other coins over that side. Boing! <laughs> I love the sound of the Shy Guys doing their little tribal march. <laughs> no! Talk about it. He's the only- Poochie's the only thing considered an enemy to never harm Yoshi when touched. That's true, but at what cost? He's not much of an ally. No, I need my extra star! I, I, I'm missing a star! That's fine, I have star power-ups. Thankfully, it's not too much more sl Thankfully, it wasn't too much progress that was lost. Mobius, welcome! Glad to see ya. We're exploring Monkey World today. That's literally the name of this world. Monkey World. Although this level has a shocking lack of monkeys. That's okay, we got more than enough last time. Is that everything? That is not everything. We are missing one star and four red coins? We missing four red coins.
Okay. I guess this is where we're missing four red coins. Oh, and the minigame hut, of course. All right, throwing balloon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Quick time events. Quick time events against the bandits. You'll never beat Pink Yoshi. <laughs> I'm very glad that I have these power-ups that refill my star gauge, because otherwise ending the level of max stars would be really annoying. That's great that you have a Saturday to yourself now, uh, Mobius. I do eventually want to try the uh, Town of Us Among Us mod. Looks crazy fun. Yo, she wins! We get two up. How grand. Plus ten. We need that last star, and bada boom. We need to abuse power ups to get a hundred percent, but we still get a hundred percent. The what mod? The there's an uh, there's a mod for Among Us called Town of Us, where it's like a Town of Salem mod. Never played Town of Salem, but it adds like a billion new rules, and it looks really cool. Makes it significantly more uh, complicated, but also more interesting. Drawing lots! Get an item! Here's another chance to gain an item! Flip a single card and receive the item shown. It's gonna be Kamek. Oh my gosh, that's like, I think the first time I've played this where it has not been Kamek. Alright, level 3 time. Free free, Nepiunt's Domain. Nepiunt is the uh, giant water blob monster. Monkeys are back. That's him. He's just here to play, though. <laughs> ah! Nepiunt! Please, no. Nepiant is annoying on this level. Really? Nothing? After I almost let Baby Mario get carried away, you give me nothing? Oh, ah! Man, this guy's annoying. Gotta go over him. I'll go back for the coins, don't worry, folks. But I kinda need more coins. Did I say coins? I meant eggs. I 
forget if there were more coins back there. Ugh. Stupid eyebrow monster. There we go. I just know one of these is going to have a secret. Nope, never mind. That was weird. Monkey grabbed Baby Mario, but I ate him. Alright, see you, Mobius! Nepian just wants to say hi. Maybe. And we are entering his domain without his permission, so... Yoshi cries when he tries to eat the penguins. Or whatever the heck the these things are. Oh no, I'm one star point short again. That's an interesting looking shy guy. I feel like there's a switch somewhere that lets you do a little warp pipe. Aha! It's a good thing I went under here before grabbing before that finished, because now we can do Helicopter Yoshi! I think this will let me uh, fly through that tunnel. Come on. Come on. Sure enough. Ooh, nope, that's too far. Oh, I think this is... I think this is the one course in the whole game that lets you turn into the uh, submarine through this door. There is a submarine transformation, but, uh... Oh, thank you, a checkpoint. Yep, I think this is the only part of the game where you actually turn into the submarine. Or maybe there are some bonus levels that I haven't played where you do. Just in case. Ouch. No, you can't destroy my submarines. I'm, I have Drake. He has good submarines. Oh no! No no! No! No 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 no! Please tell me I can go for all of this again, and it's not a one-time thing. Oh, thank goodness. Nepion was planned to appear in Paper Mario, but was scrapped. Huh. I believe that. Wow, that was... That was really bad homie torpedoes. It literally went out of its way to avoid that guy. Yeah, it did it again! It could have just done it with a straight shot, but instead it decided it had to curve around. Just gonna tank it. Oh. 
Is there a way to go faster in the submarine that I'm just not picking up on? Like, is there a boost button like there was for the, uh, the train? Dun, 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 dun! Doesn't look like it. These tornadoes are absolutely... These torpedoes are absolutely awful. They do a really bad job. Can you even dodge these bombs without, like, stopping for, like, ten whole seconds? <sighs> Just come on, Yoshi. I do not like the tour, uh, the submarine. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness that's over with. Not a fan of the, the submarine. Oh, hey, it's a froggy. You bring him back. I eat you, you stupid frog. Also, did we get... Oh, no. Oh no. Did we miss... Did we miss some red coins? In the... I thought that the submarine area was optional. But it's not. So I bet you, I bet you we missed flowers and or red coins back in the previous... Well, if that's the case, then we don't get 100% on this level. Because I'm... We got a checkpoint when it was too late to go back. I've always thought the the crabs are so weird where they have like clouds around them. You can walk down the stairs, which is really interesting. Oh no, don't tell me this is where I was supposed to go again. What? What happened? Oh, did I jump into the freaking ton? Piranha are not good enough to be turned into eggs. That was weird. Apparently fish in general cannot be turned into eggs. That's quite strange. Frog! percent on this level. That submarine area looked like it was optional, but apparently not. Just one flower, one coin, and five stars. That's unfortunate. 
Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one. I say kinda sarcastically, this level is quite annoying. Free for Prince Froggy's Fort. So we're going to the King of All Frogs. I'm sorry, the Prince of All Frogs. He's got a really cool background, but... Prince Froggy is not a nice man. Oh, that's that's what a way what a way to start this all off with a really well hidden. Oh, never mind. There's another submarine transformation. I'm not happy about this. Where does this take me? Right back here. Well, at least we can get the. At least we can get some eggs. Evil flowers are abundant in this dungeon, so beware. There, in Prince Froggy's fort. A lot of different doorways to go in through as well. Thanks for the generous donation. <laughs> well, I see you on the wall there, you monkey. boss fight of this level, I remember being very annoying if you're trying to not take damage. Stop it! Oh my gosh, that was so annoying. You were the worst. Get out of here. Happy flowers. I'm gonna go through the doors as we approach them, because I think the door at the end leads to the boss. But I think we have to pick up at least one key along the way. Question mark buckets can be used as boats. <laughs> is that all that was in there, really? Hmm. No red coins, no flowers, none of that. The 
Shyai ghosts that are dropping bombs on us are a weird gimmick slash enemy. ride. Alright, max star points, excellent. I think we're actually fairly close to the boss fight. Alternatively, you can also jump over that crab. Alright, that's all the red coins. That's excellent. Watch out, the crabs can scuttle sideways very fast. Just like real life crabs. I know I'm still missing a flower. I've, I think I'm still missing a flower. I'm missing two flowers, actually. Well, that's kind of sadistic. You gotta wait for the camera to really move over there, and the GBA camera doesn't reach as far as the uh, SNES version does. Watch out for the little slime balls as well. Alright, there's another flower. Chain eggs can pick up items for you, otherwise I would have been screwed to try to get that. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't like this! One wrong step means instant death, and there are slimes that spawn on the ceiling. There we go, alright. We're at 100% now. There was nothing there. He must have spawned literally as I was jumping. That's okay. There's one last midway rain. Mm, I don't like that, froggies. Alright. Dealing with this boss about taking damage is really annoying, though. Great job, Yoshi! Now you will be Froggy's lunch! <laughs> Stark contrast to the other bosses, who grow bigger. Here, Kamek causes us to grow smaller. And Froggy eats both of us. We fight in this very cramped arena. His saliva is deadly. Gotta wait for Shy Guys to fall down, and he can also push you around. Yeah, we've gotta hit his uh, uvula. I believe that's what that little dangly thing in your throat is called. And the more you hit him, the more cramped the arena gets. Also, I believe he eventually starts to shake you a little bit, and makes it harder for you to move around. Nope! Yeah, if, if two drops hang out next to each other like that, then there's nothing you can do. Also, you can't use power-ups in the middle of battle, so we can't even refill our star power, so... No, worry, we gotta lose. Yeah, if two if two drops of, like, saliva drop on you that close together, you, you're just screwed. You can't do anything. As you can see, they kind of have big hitboxes. And, yeah, Froggy's insides are pushing us into them, so... Yeah, there's nothing real you can do. Also, wow, Kamek's toadies flew into Froggy's throat. That's impressive. Are you serious? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, yeah, take that, take that! You're not robbing me of my star power. I'm also not wasting a power up on that. Alright. That's also annoying that it gets rid of all of your eggs at the start of the fight, so you have to just grab them as you go. Otherwise, I could just hit his uvula over and over again. Last one. He's still not dead. How is he still not dead? There we go. No? What the heck? Froggy, you have way too much HP. Alright, there we go, finally. Yuck. What an awful way to go, Froggy. Yoshi looks kind of disturbed by that whole experience, and then celebrates. Yay! We killed the frog! Gruesome way to go, Froggy. I apologize, but we needed 100%. So we never have to do that again. Three up! Alright! Level 5 of World 3. Jamming through the trees. Level 5 of literally every single world has this music playing on it. There we go. I hope there are no red coins or flowers hidden, like, in the bottom of these hedges. But you just, it's like, destroy all of the hedge everywhere, and you can get it out. Stupid cacti pot. That monkey was glitching out a bit. Oh, wow, that wasn't a red coin. Cover me surprised. Cover me surprised. Alright, I'm hoping there are no stupid red coins hidden in the bottoms of those hedges. Because I'm not I'm not spawning eggs just to destroy all those hedges. That's not happening. Alright, this is the part where we actually do the aforementioned jamming through the trees. I bet you that egg in the or that coin in the middle is red. Not. I'm very surprised about that. Mm. 
special thing there, but there is a special thing here. Oh, that was fun. Oh, really? That really was screaming that there was something down there. Uh, rats. Actually, is there a way to move the camera around? Wait, that's the wrong button. I thought there was a way to move the camera around, but maybe I'm mistaken. Perhaps I'm thinking about a completely different game. I need that watermelon, actually. It's very important. Thank you. There we go. I like the ricocheting eggs. Those are fun to work with. I would like an egg refill, please. Oh yeah! It's the upgraded piranha plants that have to get hit three times and will spit things at you. red coin. I am missing a flower. Oh, where will this take me? This looks amusing. No, none of these are red, so this is just purely to get one-ups. But maybe there's a flower at the end. Meow, 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 meow. Aha! Didn't expect me to use my eggs in there, did you? I sure hope there's no flower at the end of that. Or maybe I should hope there are flowers at the end of that, because like, maybe I can go back? Nope. Alright. Only one try per customer. I guess there's hopefully not a flower at the end of that. Wow. 
flower at the end of all this? Really? Monkey, stop throwing bombs. There he is. Wait, what? No, wait, what? There, why, where did the ground go? There were no- there was nothing back there? That's... That seems odd. Get out of here, monkey. Alright, this level's actually not too hard to 100%. I just gotta be smarter. Hey, Chris, why the GBA version? Uh, because this is the version I have, and it's the version I grew up with, and it's the version I consider to be the best version. So, there. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm pretty sure I just committed the ultimate blaspheme against Yoshi Island, but I... <laughs> I do not care. Hey, you can disagree. All I said was that this is the version I consider to be the best version. That doesn't mean that everyone will feel the same way. But I, I know that I am in the minority opinion there. Allow me to go over why I like the GBA version more. One, I like the controls better. Two, it's less slippery. Three, I find some of the new charm uh, sound effects to be charming. Four, there are six new levels that were added in this version that were not in the Super NES version. Oh yeah, and you can also replay the minigames anytime you want. I almost jumped in that gate! Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to use the plus 20. Almost jumped in that gate without upping my star points. You played the SNES version first? I think most people did. I think a lot of people who grew up with the Super NES don't particularly like all of the GBA remakes of the Super NES games, but I appreciated them. I think the Donkey Kong Countries are a lot better on the GBA. Just the fact that you can save everywhere is so nice, but also it controls much more smoothly. But I admit that the soundtracks are not as good, because they had to be more compressed. Alright, before we go to the next level, we're going to go back and abuse some of that World 1 bonus stuff. Because we need more star power bonuses. Do, 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 do. Let's not get Kemic in the first hit. Keep doing this. One thing you will say on the GBA, red coins are more visible. I think that's actually the opposite. I can't tell a difference between regular coins and red coins in the GBA version. Stop giving me bad power-ups. I want, I want star power boosts. Do, 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 
do. Please don't hit me, Kamek. I mean, there's the power up. There's the power up that lets you see which coins are uh, red coins and which ones aren't. But you have to use that. This was your first Mario game. Nice. Wow, they are so stingy with the star power power ups. My first, the first game that, the first actual like Mario game that I played was, I believe, Mario 64. The first game I played that had Mario in it though was Smash 64. Oh, that's right, Mario Deluxe. I also played really early on. Wow! I've played this game like five times now, uncovered a ton of cards, and not one of them has been a star power power-up. I am playing this on the GameCube Game Boy Player. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Game Boy Player, yep. I'm one of the rare people who has the privilege of being able to use it. As you can see by my uh, GameCube outline, that's the background I've set. There we go. Alright, back to World Free. I got two star power power ups now. Free Six, the cave of Harry Hedgehog. Not THE Harry Hedgehog. The Hedgehog is named Harry. If Harry Hedgehog goes back to Yoshi's Island, he will be in grave danger. Yes, I want to go up there. No, wait, what? It didn't let me hover. Beautiful, that's what I want. Uh, yeah, I wish Nintendo allowed people to play older games more easily as well. I mean, they've done a lot of that with, like, the uh, NES and Super NES, like, classics. As well as the, um... The Switch having the NES and Super NES online play. So that I, I pre and they have the virtual consoles, which was great. It's not quite the same, though. Eat the mice and get the, uh... The one on the Switch is lame? <laughs> it at least gives you an ob- Ow! Harry Hedgehog! I'm sorry, I didn't know it. it oh, is Twitch Automod being annoying? Ah, uh, well... You know me, I'm the family-friendly guy, or at least I try to be when I'm not playing T-rated games. Ooh, fire watermelon. Which is kind of an oxymoron, but... <laughs> you know, if you see a red watermelon in real life, all you have to do is lick it, and then... You can breathe fire. Don't try this at home, kids. Whee! Alright, Chomp Rock. Not a fan of Chomp Rock, personally. It's too annoying to stay on. Oh, 
There's one level where to get 100%, you have to, like, stay on a chomp rock as it's rolling. And if you fall off, then you instantly die and have to restart, like, six minutes again. It's actually the worst. Grow for me! <laughs> AF can mean awesomely funny, it's true. Uh, tw blame Twitch for that one. Um... Oh, that's evil. They put red coins at the top? <laughs> Alright, see ya, Chris. Thanks for joining in. Hope you have a great rest of your day. You're about to miss the mole train, though. Like, one of the worst transformations. <sighs> because the controls are garbage. No, wait. <laughs> Lantern. Let's try that again. Hello, Lantern Ghost. With all of the red coins. That's fantastic. Why, yes, I would love to go for this door. Don't tell me that's the end of the level. Are you s Are you serious right now? That key was optional. And there's no- Are you serious? There's no way to even- got to be kidding me. That literally was... Ah, I hate Yoshi's Island sometimes! It is never obvious which way you need to go and which way you don't. I, the key was optional. It was in a hidden place. I grabbed it, and it was screaming, hey, this leads to a secret area with the last flower, and then the door closes, and you're not allowed to go back. Why does it bar you from going back? That's so stupid! That doesn't make any sense why it bars you from going back. Except to troll you if you didn't get 100%. <sighs> uh. And the fact that you can't even, like, kill yourself at that point. Oh, man. That, they literally put that in just to troll you. I hate that. Alright, we're on level 7, Monkey's Favorite Lake. The monkeys have a lot of different lakes, but this right here, this is their favorite lake. So, you know, uh, don't mess around. Let's try this again. Stupid monkey vine. Please ignore that sound, it's just the garage door opening and closing. Alright, well. First room is interesting. Hey monkey, jump up here. Jump on your head, and yes! Is there nothing up here? Really, I'm disappointed. That would have been a really good secret. Oh. Oh, 
was a stingy one. It only gave me three. The others give me five. I was hoping for that. I, that bomb locks on, I swear. Just like the green shells from Mario Kart 8. <laughs> yes. Oh, this scream secret area. Yes, it does. You bring my baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> Hey, Sonic! Welcome! We're enjoying some Yoshi's Island. Now, this is the GBA port, so all of you fans of the Super NES might want to look away, but <laughs> we're still having fun. Alright, that's exactly where I came from. Hi, Evil Flowers. Yeah, we're at the end of World 3 now. I'm hoping that we'll get through World 4 in this uh, stream. We'll see, though. <laughs> Yeah. Liam was playing us on the Switch early. Nice. He has great taste. This is a really fun game. I've technically never beaten it. I made it to the final boss. Couldn't figure out how to beat him, but this is why I'm... <laughs> one of the reasons I'm coming back after all these years. I will beat this game. Wee boy! Nothing hidden in the treetops? Boing. I'm trying to get 100% as I go, but if I don't get 100% on a level, then that's fine. I'll just come back and try it again later. I've made it to some of the, uh, the extra levels, and they are frighteningly difficult. That was weird. Please don't poke me in the butt, buddy. That, that would be a weird thing. <laughs> Yoshi, don't cry to try to eat that guy. I forgot about all the weird enemies in this game. There's some very strange ones. Hey, Void! Welcome! There's some retro games you play on the Switch as well. Very nice. This is on the uh, Game Boy Player. Which is like a GameCube adapter that lets you play Game Boy Advance games. It's an, it was officially made by Nintendo, but they're very rare. I've heard that, like, the. It's like, a, like an attachment you put at the bottom of your GameCube to make it more cube like, and then there's also a disc that goes along with it. I think there are plenty of people who have, like, the built in thing on their GameCube, but they don't actually have the disc that lets them play it. Popping balloons! Oh boy, it's luck based! Alright, we beat him. Oh yes, plus 20 star points. That's a great prize. You've been liking Metroid Prime? Or he's been really liking Metroid Prime. Oh, Metroid Prime is my favorite Metroid game. It's so fun. Very, very, very fun. One of the only f uh, first person shooter games that I actually like. Uh, he looks friendly. Yeah, I know! Ouch. I forgot that guy's instant death. 
That's okay. We had just recently gotten a checkpoint. I am alarmed by the lack of red coins we have, though. could play the minigame again, but we're not going to. Ouch! That was not a nice thing to do. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! I like how the egg's going slow-mo on the surface of the water. Ouch! No, no, you stupid fish! Alright. Now I believe... Just eat a watermelon. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now this should make a long bridge all the way to the other side. You've played for Adventures of Lolo in the NES category. You've also played a bit of uh, Mario Super Picross and Breath of Fire as well. Interesting. There are definitely a lot of Switch games. Okay, now we should be able to grab this. All that for a one-up? Missing five red coins somewhere. I don't know where they are. I'm just gonna end the level. I'm not going to scrounge to find those five red coins. I can do that on a later playthrough. Yeah, that's kind of where I am, Void. There are a lot of games that I want to stream. And because I don't stream as frequently as some other people, I need to really be wise about what I stream and when. Oh boy! Final level of World 3. This is a fun one. The Naval Piranha's Castle. Don't let the Happy Hills fool you. This, this one is a... <laughs> this one's gonna be quite tricky. I don't know how you're generating these shy guys. <laughs> there are some really bizarre enemies in here. Invincible piranhas. Not what I want to see. Little raven. And they are hollow on the bottom. Okay, sure. That's also a reason why the GBA version is better. Yoshi doesn't make that funny sound effect in the Super NES version. I should stop saying GBA version is better, because I... That's very debatable. That's why I like the GBA version more. So this is kind of the water dungeon. But it's actually a fun water dungeon, which is not very common. And my way, little piranhas. Oh boy, information block. Definitely need to read. Try to throw an egg at the arrow, and hello, you can get the coins placed underneath. I can just take a dip. If it was lava, that would be another story. You can get these coins directly, but let's use an egg instead. It'll skip on the surface of the water to collect those eggs. 
That is pretty cool. There's still quite a few games you want them to add to Super NES and NES Online. Yeah. I mean, hey, I'd love to be able to play Nintendo's, like, all of Nintendo's games. Not just the ones they want us to play. Yeah, take that, take that. Ha 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 ha. Love the castle music. No! Okay, that's just evil. No, 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 you don't. That was a close call. You're safe, baby Mario. Well, this room's kind of evil. You want Contra Castlevania and the Bomberang games? Yeah. I haven't played any of those myself, but I've heard how good they are. Dandelions actually hurt Yoshi for some unknown reason. I'm just gonna damage boost to get that. <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> yeah, if Yoshi touches the dandelions, then he gets hurt. What is under here? be the way they want me to go. This is so far out of the way. Okay, good. Ah, uh, this looks like a job for... regular watermelon. I like the power-up system in this. It's fun. I hate these enemies. Later. Man, watermelons can be really powerful. <laughs> you can even take them into boss fights and literally defeat bosses by spitting watermelon seeds at them. It's great. This is the way we used to go to the Okay, well. Come on! I spat him with like 800 watermelon seeds. Eat this guy's projectiles, turn them into eggs. We need to time it properly, but we can do it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh, the bots are back again. Oh my gosh. I don't know why the bots are targeting my channel. It's not like I'm a big channel. And it's not like I've generated any interest whatsoever in wanting to be famous. Herpaderpaskerp. Alright. Dog on it. 
Hmm. Is there a way to handle this from my mix it up? So they don't actually have Twitch open right now. Ah, whatever. People, be, don't fall for the bot. The bot is not actually trying to help you get famous. Alright, get out of here, Piranha Plant. Alright, that was the last red coin. I think I'm gonna have to use a star power power up regardless, because I think there's only one more. Oh! Okay then. Yep. Gonna use that plus 20. Alright, and I'll show off a really funny thing you can do with the boss fight. We can literally skip the whole thing. This is normally a rather tricky boss fight. But. Okay. Just very slowly. Okay, you saw that tiny little piranha plant over here. Come on. Come on, camera. Oh, talk go that's okay, the camera literally refused to cooperate with me. Are you kidding me? Alright. Give up, Yoshi, you egg throwing maniac! Oops, forget that! Alright, well, we have to fight the boss for realsies. That's a big piranha plant. So we gotta hit his little swollen belly button down there. Alright, well, we kind of need more eggs now. power-ups during the battle, I re Oh, that's right, you can't actually eat watermelons in the middle of the, uh, boss battle. The game doesn't like it. No! Oh, don't you, you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Sorry, Baby Mario, you're on your own. I am not ending this level without 100%. I'm very ticked off right now. That should not have hit me. And it, it, the game literally prevented me from cheesing the boss fight just because the camera refused to cooperate. Gee, thanks. Bye, baby Mario. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got the final checkpoint, and there's still a lot of stuff to collect. Yeah, we have to collect five red coins and two flowers. One of my plans for the holiday weekend? Well, it's already starting. Uh, Marty is coming over on Monday, and we're going to record together. Uh, Sunday, I'm probably going to record some stuff. I don't have any, like, hard set plans. I do have to go grocery shopping, though. But I can just do that right after church. Most of the enemies in this game. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you like the way Baby Mario's hat moves when you run? I don't think I've ever noticed that. Can I please, uh... Can I please get some more eggs? guys while avoiding the piranha plant. That guy's really emphasizing the piranha part of the piranha plant. That's just not fun. Or fair. Eat, let's replenish our eggs. Continue on as we have. It's a good thing I got multiple star power ups. Star points. I like that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, it doesn't matter if even if we get that flower, because we still are going to need to use a power-up. <sighs> oh, we better... Okay, we're going in with more eggs this time, so even if we can't cheese the boss, I think we'll be okay. If it literally just let me move the camera a couple of pixels to the left, I could have cheesed it. And now I have no eggs. <sighs> there is a way you can move the camera. It was not freaking working. If you move the camera, you can just hit the tiny little piranha plant with an egg and immediately end the fight. Well, great. Now I have to deal with wonky physics now. By wonky physics, I mean the wonky physics on the little chompers that he makes. First off with the fact that the dandelions themselves hurt Mario for literally no reason. I'm gonna just wait for him to do that again. You... Oh, you scumbag. I forgot you could do that. There we go! He was about to squeeze me with his... ...little lava bud. Or lava bud. That's what they were in Paper Mario. Yeah, <laughs> take that, take that, take that. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I think one more ought to do it. There we go! Didn't even need to cheese him. And he crumbles to dust. 
Oh my gosh, we finally did it! We 100%ed that! No, that wasn't so bad because I, I decided to eat the little dandelion before it fell on the ground. Oh my gosh. Yes, 100%! Bonus free opened. Excellent. We can now play bonus free whenever we want to. Not that I ever really would want to, but <laughs> it's an option if we if we want. Yoshi runs into the water dungeon, runs back out, and then it inflates and explodes. And Yoshi has another one of these giant Yoshi flags to place in the ground. All right, on to World 4. We definitely have time to at least start this. I can stream for longer on weekends, so... This is where the game starts getting a lot harder. 4-1. Go, go, Mario! Oh my gosh, Goombas. First time seeing Goombas as enemies. In this game. do 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 this world has more of an autumn sunset theme to it. Also a bit more mountainous. <laughs> oh yeah, you can jump on the Goombas' heads and they just kind of squish. But then they reinflate themselves. Sturdy little things, Goombas. Just, just get back. Heem. How. Yes, yes! No, no, no. That's not nice. Aha! Here we go, secret pipe. Always try to enter every warp pipe you see. Oh, you dipwad. Give my baby back, dip. <sighs> this game is rather frustrating. At least we've got triple digit lives now. <laughs> I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> exactly. I was seeing that earlier in the uh, stream. <laughs> Ouch! You're not supposed to ricochet if you move off screen. <laughs> not the piranha plant I was aiming for, but I'll take it. Oh no, we can't avoid this guy. Just spit it out, Yoshi. Come on. I was ready for you that time. Alright. Bandits are hiding in the crystals. That went much better. So perish all kidnappers. Ooh, that was beautiful. That went much better. Well, well, well. All right. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, none of those were red. That's okay. Okay, 
Ouch. There are no check- I haven't found any checkpoints yet, which worries me a slight- Hey, <laughs> button. please be just a tad more responsive. Please and thank you, sincerely. Artie! <sighs> hey, button. be a little more responsive. Yeah, I thought there was going to be stuff down here. An ice! No one, eh? Huh. Does that fly guy have an invincibility star? I don't think he does. So that is a gimmick that I am not familiar with. There are definitely going to be invincibility stars on this level, though. That's kind of the whole gimmick. Oh my gosh, yes! A chair! <laughs> oh boy, guys, fuzzies are back. Everyone's favorite enemy. Touch fuzzy, you get dizzy. <laughs> Yoshi's already t ar Yoshi's already discovered what fuzzies do to you, and he's not eager to try it again. Uh oh. Let the, uh, let the trip commence. No, no, Yoshi. Ah. This is why you don't smoke fuzzies, kids. Oh, yeah. If you eat fuzzies, you still take the trip. Whew. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to touch the fuzzies. Artie does not recommend this for a good, clean Christian life. <laughs> oh, yes, this is the part of the bubble I remember. Oh, thank you. Maximum stars now. Touch a super oh, I already know how to do that. Oh, and with the ability to actually dash, it'll make it a lot easier. Also, apparently my condo complex has decided that Saturday is the day we must mow the lawn at maximum volume. Really? There's nothing up here? Oh, that's disappointing. I apologize for the sounds of lawnmowers in the background, which I'm sure everyone can hear. Now let's try this. Ah, 
Can we not hop on Wiggler's heads? Now we can, as Yoshi. Is, I don't know which ones of these coins are red. Oh, that was the last one. Uh, give me, give me, no, give me Mario back. Give him, give him back. Give him back. Please tell me I have one. Oh, thank goodness. Gotta get more of these! Alright, we're gonna do more bonus room grinding, I guess. <laughs> Imagine actually being good enough at this game that you don't need to just abuse the bonus games to get these stars in order to get 100%. <laughs> dun da 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 Alright, match cards! The Wigglers are on the ground and the Flutters are the ones who flutter in the air. Yeah, flutters are the ones who flutter around with their wings. Okay, I don't remember exactly where this was. Oh, I guess I do. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that's right. I remember. Oh, bye! Yay! <laughs> Oh, wow! First try! Turn up! Okay, I think we have enough lives that we don't need to worry about lives anymore. Maybe. Back to World 1 bonus! Gotta get more star bo bo star point bonuses. <laughs> I need them. I am weak without them. Oh boy. Do 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 do. Don't give me Kamek on the first try. Okay. Well. As soon as I get a star power power up, I'm gonna exit. <laughs> Just because Kamek has a nasty tendency of showing up when you don't want him to. I think that there might be a cap on the number of power-ups you can hold. So if so, I might have to get rid of some of the crappy power-ups that I never use, like the POW block. Oh yeah, Mario vs. Donkey Kong! That's a never- I like- I played the first one of those. That was fun. Stupid Kamek. He's like, I know you always pick the first one, though! Okay, really? You know there are eight different spots you can spawn in, right, Kamek? <laughs> He's like, yeah, but I know you always pick the first one. <laughs> That should do it for now. Alright, back to World 4. Level 2. The Cave of the Lakitus. Normally it's the third level of the world that's the cave level. Oh, 
Of course I picked the wrong pipe. There we go. Oh wait, that's just a one-up. It didn't have anything. Never mind. Who big pal block? It's the weirdest thing. I jump on spiny eggs, and it doesn't let me go higher. It just hurts me. All this way to a board pipe, and it doesn't even take me there. And by there, I mean literally anywhere. You know another good puzzle game, but you doubt we would have heard of it? Um, if it's Lemmings, I, I assure you we have heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the one you're... Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, as you know, she falls after hovering, press A again to hover some more. Use this technique and the magnifying glass to get on... Oh, they literally are like, you better use the magnifying glass here. Alright. If they insist. Nice of them to just flat out tell you, like, yeah, use the magnifying glass, kid. Whee! Okay. Lines right up to where we left. This is great. Okay. Really? That is not the way he was. Well, you know what? He'll respawn. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if I if I landed on my butt after a fall that big, I would die. And if I didn't die, I would wish I was dead. There we go. That's what. Oh, I've heard of Pushmo. I never played it myself, but I've heard of it. Oh, wow. The magnifying glass affects the entire level, not just one room? Oh, that's actually really nice. Wait, oh no, that's... That's a one-screener there, Artie. <laughs> Don't go killing yourself. I recommend that too, everybody. Please don't kill yourself. There's so much that life has to offer. Like this bonus game! Oh, yes! Good, another watermelon speed seed spinning contest. These are the best. This is the best and the worst minigame. Because the guy can literally just cheat at it and hide behind, like, the background while you can't. But. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come off it. Yeah. Take that. You literally just have to wait till he's like above. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Yeah.
All right, there we go. Oh boy, we get a nice watermelon that I'm never going to use. Do you only get watermelon prizes for these? I think you actually might. Why don't the red coins just always look like that? That would make this a lot better. Oh, but Artie, that would take some of the challenge out of it. Yeah, but it's artificial difficulty if you can't see what is what. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Hmm. Camera. Hey, camera. Let me see straight down. predict the timing for that exactly unless you actually try it out once. So you gotta fire it when it's one before the one. Oh. And now the magnifying glass is worn off. I do like this level. This is a cool level. The cave levels tend to be fairly fun. With at least one absolutely critical exception, looking at you with a very long cave. But that's an auto score, so what do you expect? Okay. What? That's gotta be a very rough way to go. I have 110 lives. Otherwise, we'd be in big doo doo this time. Oh, wait, I have way more than that. Don't remember when I got all those extra lives, but I'll take them. Okay, third time's the charm. There we go. Now we just have to do the same thing on this side. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent, Smithers. There we go. Beautiful. Good job, Pink Yoshi. We're proud of you. I like how the Yoshis have a relay system up. It's great. 
100% first try. <laughs> I definitely didn't have to kill myself in order to get this. One up! Oh no, but the next level's awful. Oh boy, it's roulette! Is there any skill to this at all? <gasps> Alright, I'll take it! I think that's actually the best... One of the best possible things you can get. That's great! Yeah, this is one of my least favorite levels in the game right here, so... <laughs> not looking forward to this one. For free, don't look back. When you jump off of one of these platforms, the number shown is reduced by one. If the number reaches zero, the platform vanishes. Let me tell you what, getting for this level is super annoying. You gotta use a combination of these platforms and the balloons at the bottom of the screen in order to actually do anything on this level. It's awful. It reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 2's Red Hot Ride, and, um, that's not a compliment. I don't like this music, either. Anytime this music appears in the game, it's like the game is trying to mock you. Like, the music sounds condescending. Also, find trying to figure out which ones of these are red coins and which ones aren't is super annoying. I suppose this is an ideal level to use the magnifying glass on. It's a good thing that there's a fair going on at the bottom of the screen, because otherwise this would be very difficult. So how high up is, does the game allow you to go? You never know unless you try. This level's just too big. There's too much open space. There's an arrow pointing that way, so this should lead to somewhere, yes. Oh boy. It's Helicopter Yoshi! Do I actually have the magnifying glass power-up? I do not. That was not fair. How am I supposed to get- are you kidding me? That is not what I wanted to do, you lard butt. Oh, thank goodness I can use it again. I was sure it was gonna be cool. <laughs> Only one time use for the helicopter! Oh, did they knock you into the end? Oh, too bad. Looks like we got all the, uh, all the coins in here, which, that's interesting. I thought for sure I missed some.
Are you serious? How are you supposed to deal with that? It comes out of nowhere. Well, it's a good thing I got the checkpoint. You just have to know that that's coming. Oh no, get back here, you stupid toady. You're not keeping Baby Mario away from me. It's mine. My star points. Oh, are you serious? That's evil. Oh wait, no, we can't even ground pound that if we try. Am I thinking of a different game that allows you to free move the camera? Oh wait, yeah, I am. I'm thinking of Kingdom Hearts 458 over two days. I'm like, I swear I've gotten the, like, you can free move the camera message. Wrong game, already. I hope that one wasn't a red coin, because I'm going to be kind of ticked if that was. <sighs> it's not one thing, it's another. Actually, wait, can we go back? No, we can't, for some stupid reason. <laughs> These are red coins! Hope none of those were red coins! That's where the end is, that's interesting. Okay, where are my stats? I'm missing eight red coins! I don't like that. Why do I get the terrible feeling that the rest of the red coins are all up there? Ooh. They said that had a one-up! They lied to me! Wait, that's- wait, what? Said the exit is over there, but the exit was up. What? Are there two exits to this level? Sure feels like it. Oh, definitely not. Oh no, you can't be serious. Why would it. Why? I remember this level being awful, but wow, I forgot how awful it was. That'll just lead to a jug. Alright, fine. Let's just get out of this terrible place. I feel like half the levels in this game just aren't very fun. And that there's a small handful that are just, like, really bad. That is one of the levels that is just really bad. 
It's not fun at all, and it's way too easy to accidentally miss stuff. Alright, there we go. Oh, and speaking of really bad, we're on one of the toughest levels in the game. 4-4, Marching Mills Fort. Yeah, it's a fort that actually starts with this music. Oh, great. We're continuing the trend of already getting killed immediately by these chain jump guys, because they always fall exactly where I'm going to be. Look, it's, it, it literally just tried to backtrack on me. Look at that! Ah! Chain Chop is chasing me! What the? Thanks, jump button. Thanks for always responding when I need you to. I appreciate it. Marching Mule's Fort. Yeah, we don't even get to start in the fort. We have to... We have to get there first. Yikes! He's a fast boy. No, stupid milds. Now Chain Chomp's teeth break and he cries a single manly tear. And he disappears. I forgot about moving Chain Chomp, boy. And now we make the way into Marching Milt's Fort. Let me tell you, this fort sucks. Okay, so there are four different ways we need to go, and each way has a key that we need. We are not going to go through that green until we... until we need another checkpoint. Let's go into the instant room of death forms first. There's a lot of instant death on this level, by the way. And Snippets are here. Yay! I'm very confused as to what just happened, but all right, we'll just accept it as the gospel truth. Good hitboxes. This is not the room with as much instant death, deafy death as I thought it was. I remember there being a lot more forms than that. Once you find the key, you can leave the room. I guess you can technically leave the room earlier if you want, but you shouldn't leave the room. Alright, I believe that is it for that room. At least I sure hope so. Okay, let's do the ones at the top first. Gonna do two rooms, get the checkpoint, then do the other two rooms. Ow, oh, that's right. The rooms with these flying balls. There are a lot of star points that you can get on this level, which is nice. 
but you're you're gonna need him. Also, the boss of this world is really annoying if you're trying to 100% it. Egg refills. Yes, 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 eggs, yes, eggs. Think of all the things I can make. Oh, just coins. I thought it would be a key. Second key. All right. Those two rooms weren't too bad. I think we actually ended up saving the two toughest rooms for last, which is not good. We're also going to use our keys here, because for each key we carry, that's one less egg we can carry. Oh, hey. Halfway point. We are going to avoid getting that. That's a checkpoint we will get for the end. Yeah, this level is a lot about using those checkpoints strategically. Wow, fancy. <laughs> I totally did that on purpose, everybody. Definitely. All right. Now we get a checkpoint, so if we die, we do not have to redo these rooms again. Yeah, I think this is the room that's actually filled with all the instant death spikes. Yep. Kind of cool how Sniffets are in this game. They haven't really appeared outside of Mario Advance very much. And by that I mean Super Mario 2. But I know that game is Mario Advance. Close to getting 100% now. We found a lot of the red coins. Do <laughs> you? Oh, it's almost a bad thing. Oh, two doors. Let's go down to the lone one first. <laughs> Reasonably certain there are instant death spikes down there. Wait, but we didn't explore everything in that room. There were still two other doors. Wow, you can't actually hold an enemy in your mouth for too long, otherwise Yoshi will spit it out. Yeah, we never went in this door. Oh, that's... that's all it leads to? Oh, it doesn't lead to instant death spikes. Okay, but it doesn't lead to anything good. Do, 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 
Alright, now the last door is the lava door, which you'd think would be the toughest, but once you know how to get through it, it isn't too bad in memory serves. So you gotta use these buckets as rafts. Avoiding the fireballs is probably good. What?! I call bull, I call bull, I call total absolute bull. Alright, well, this room seems like it's actually gonna be harder then. We'll do this one first. I've got a plan. And that plan is named Ice Watermelon. We only have two of the flowers? That's worrisome. There we go. Uh -uh. Jump button! Can you please actually let me jump when I tell you to? It would be most appreciated. Oh, of course. And of course it did that after I already wasted my ice watermelon. Oh, we can literally just eat it. You'd think that eating fire would give Yoshi heartburn. Oh, what? Why was that rotating so fast? <laughs> oh, hey, Blark. That's, that's actually not Blark. I don't think that's Blark. That's a blog. <laughs> First try. Now we gotta go back to this wasteland. This one actually isn't as hard as I remember. Marching Melds Fort is exactly as annoying as I remember it being. Marching Meld casually is like the easiest boss in the game. But if you're trying to 100% his fort, then uh, God help you. Also, even just beating his fort normally is tough. Yep, instant death spikes are definitely a thing in this dungeon. And in this game in general.
I don't think there was anything down here, but no, there wasn't. Second key, all right. Now, unfortunately, we have... We are missing one red coin and one flower. Oh, that's just terrible. Is there another checkpoint before the boss? I actually don't remember. There are a lot of checkpoints in this dungeon, which is really nice. It's like the one kind of thing that they did. Okay, there is the last red coin. Okay, there is another. Okay. That was the last for the coin, so there's one flower that's still out there somewhere. And we are going to grab it. And we have a checkpoint now, so we've opened the entire dungeon, we have all the red coins, we were missing one flower. I bet you it's in the upper right. I bet you it's in this one. Somewhere. This was the largest room. I love the, the like, the, uh, the design of these tiles. Back. Not nice. Oh, hey. Question mark balloon down there. I bet you this is it. Oh, yeah. Told you I thought I was in this room. No, no, no. They're trying to whittle baby Mario down to zero or down below 20 stars so I don't get all the star points that I need from. Aha! Uh -huh. From the final checkpoint ring, is what I was going to say. They are really desperately trying to whittle me down to below 20 star points. Alright. Just checking. Yes, all flowers, all red coins, and after we get that last checkpoint, we will have all stars. We will probably have to redo the fight, the marching milk fight, a couple of times because, boy howdy, is it annoyingly easy for him to just touch you and for you to just die because of the we the very wonky physics behind how he moves and how he splits apart. There we go, 30 star points. Final checkpoint, and now we fight marching milk. This little happy guy had such an annoying fort. Yoshi! Oh dear! Well, Marching Mild will pound you to bits! He's big Mild. Okay, so you know how the regular Milds kind of cause a little bit of an earthquake when you hit them? So we have to ground pound him a bunch. And it's very easy for you to ground pound him and then him to split apart and then one of the things that splits apart to just hit you. My general recommendation is once he splits apart into this 
Yeah, like, like that. Like that. We are not saving Baby Mario. We are absolutely not doing this level again. My general recommendation is to just pray that you can split him apart into a bunch of little mills and then just eat them one by one. Do not try to jump on them otherwise. Annoying things can happen. Like, if you jump on one and others are near, you can, like, bounce them into you. It's so stupid. Mmm, this wall is tasty, yes. Lick. All-star plays when you get all-stars. <laughs> No, I think that might I think I might get into trouble with Twitch for that for copyright infringement. <laughs> that would be funny though. Da -da marching mill. He's big boy. He's such a weird smile. Okay, don't throw eggs. Don't throw eggs in this fight. Not worth it. That was a very near fail. Now we eat them one by one, and boom! <laughs> that was a weird ending pose, Yoshi. <laughs> we beat Marching Mills Ford, and we never have to go back there again. Cause we got a hundred points, and that's the best you can do. And we free up. Alright, that's generally a big road... That level is generally a really big roadblock for first-time players. But now we are in the second half of World 4, which is significantly more fun. 4-5, Chomp Rock Zone. This level is not great, but... Oh, hey! It's not playing the annoying music. This is a Chomp Rock. Roll it as far as you can and see what happens. Okay. What have I got to lose? <laughs> Just three, that's it. Chomp Rock Zone sounds like the name of a Sonic level. Yeah, potentially. Wow. Tap tap beats. Shell. Oh man. We gotta bring another shell down here, folks. Darn it, that Koopa's in his underwear. Oh. Hey, sweet. Oh, let's just give us a one up. Over you stupid red nose. This is no place for you, Rudolph. Okay, I. I checked this area out, and there was no secret thing. Now there is? Ping! I like the idea of a level where the whole gimmick is to push a chomp rock. <laughs> da 
push this on here, will it actually shred the stuff for me? It does. Pain. <laughs> Yoshi makes great sound effects in the GBA Git version. Oh, perfect. That's exactly where I wanted you to stop. Yeah, I feel like this level is a significant step back in, in terms of difficulty compared to Marching Milt's Fort, and don't look back. Uh, actually, wait, um, I kind of need you. Chomp Rock, Chomp Rock, hey, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Your assistance is needed in here. You rolled away a little too fast. Thank you. Pegs aren't having as many red coins as they used to. Okay, I want to try rolling this all the way across. Rats shouldn't have knocked the pegs all the way down. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. It doesn't look like there's anything up there, so... I'm gonna trust that there isn't. There probably was. Okay, I need an enemy besides a build. Okay, you might do. That works. Oh, we can't even get to the other side anyways, though. Oh, that's not good. I bet you there was something up there in that last area. We can always kill ourselves and go back to the checkpoint if we need. <laughs> that was a cute look there, Yoshi! to the checkpoint, are we able to save ourselves? I'm just curious, because we have... we're missing five red coins and two flowers. And it could be they're all on this side of the gate. I think there's actually a way to clip through these gates using eggs. I'm not fam I don't know how to pull off the glitch, but I'm pretty sure that the glitch exists that allows you to do that. Okay. 
that. Yeah, I think if I hadn't pushed the pegs all the way down right before the door, then things may have turned out differently. A little bit this way so we can push it a little bit back. Not that far back. I do not like the physics on Chomp Rock. It's a cool idea, but it's it tends to be a, annoying just as often as it is helpful. Actually, wait a second. This time, I'm going to only hammer them down to that level. Alright. Now we do this. Aha! There we go! Now this gives us a chomp rock for the entirety of this... <laughs> oh, come on! They knew how annoying that was going to be, and they put it in anyways. I still may have missed plenty of stuff so that I still may not get 100%, but this chomp rock here is going to help out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, now we're pulling the uh, Greek myth of the guy who who's trying to push the rock up the hill, except he actually pushes the rock up the hill. What was his name? I can't remember. Oh, sweet! Now we're just missing two red coins. And they might be down here. Oh, and, and we're missing a flower as well. Oh, I, I see. Oh, this is clever. Oh, that's so clever! I love that. That's a great puzzle. You think I, you know where I missed two reds? I hope it's not too late for me to get them. before the door. I do remember, yeah. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to go and let Mario get carried off again. This would be much easier if there was an instant death pit that I could actually utilize. Those toadies were a little slow on the uptake. Alright. Well, that's okay. 100% is within our sight, so we're going to get it. There we 
go. I got them on my first attempt. Okay. I yeah, that seems to strike a chord. Oh my gosh, the last two were indeed right. Yep, those are the ones I missed. Thanks, Void. I appreciate it. Yes. All right. Yes. Oh, this is going to go so much better. I was about to make, if they trap me down there, I'm going to cry. Oh, you son of a gun game. You just tried to screw me out of that flower. No, 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 no. The game tried to screw me again. What? I'm gonna have to use two power-ups at the end of this, but... missing some star points, and we have power-ups for that. Do we have a I know we have- oh, we do have plus 20. Beautiful. You gotta jump through the ring from left to right, not the other way around, otherwise it doesn't work. No bonus game for me, that's okay. Tan Yoshi's got this. Oh, yay. It's always nice when you can get 100% on a level. Alright, this is another great level of the game. One of the more famous ones. 4-6, Lakeshore Paradise. And we got the jungle music. <clears throat> no, excuse me. Excuse me! Excuse me! Let me go under... I don't want... No, I want to go under the staircase. Yes! Thank you! Like that. That wasn't so hard. Now was it wasn't game. Man, that the hitbox on that staircase though. All that for one red coin and a couple star points. Give me that. If I see a shy guy holding a red coin, I just have to stop everything I am doing. What? That was so unfair. Come 
on, I earned those star points fair and square. Stop trying to... Stop trying to swindle me out of them. Stupid Koopa Troopas in your underwear. They're mocking me, they're like, I don't even need to dress well to beat you, bub. Still a fun level, though. Come on, make me bridge. Not sure exactly how useful that bridge is going to be. I saw a minigame hut. <laughs> Way up there. But how the heck do we get all the way up there? That's rude. What hit me? Ah, that's how we do it. Game time! What's it going to be? Oh boy, Gabber Coins, alright. Bandit fights dirty, I fight dirty too. Just like when I play Among Us. I win! I get worst power up! Oh, that's right, there's a door up there that we need to reach. Secrets. Lakeshore Paradise has a cave, apparently. Not sure if I'd call that my paradise, but alright. That flower is spitting the wrong kinds of eggs out. If the coin's in a hard-to-reach spot, it's probably a red coin. Okay, nope. Oh, I'm so glad they brought us back here just to show us an outside area for a very small hallway before we go back to the cave. That's definitely something that had to be in the game. Cloud Crab disappeared. Oh, no. Did Cloud Crab disappear? Hey, Cloud Crab. Now, is that the way I'm... I can't go back once I go up there, so... So help me if they tell me this is the proper way to go, and I can't go back. 
There's no way of knowing. That's an interesting orb. Aha! I don't think I've ever seen this before. Seems like the way they kind of want us to go, doesn't it? down. Is there anything down here? Sure is. Yeah. Are there more? Are there more points up there? That's, that's an interesting little gimmick right there. I don't think I've ever seen these orbs before. Alright, that's good. Um, missing one flower and four red coins. Excellent. I'm glad I went this way instead of going the other way. No! Are you serious? <sighs> Come on! Uh, why are you making me repeat so much of the coins? Rats. At least I know where all, like, the red coins are, because there were a lot of red coins back there under the waters. Definitely not the way we're supposed to go, which is why I'm going over here. Gotta get all those extra goodies. I still don't know what determines when it turns around. This way. Okay, 
I guess there weren't a lot of red coins that way, but there was one. And I remember there's one down here. Okay, I think hopping on it again makes it change directions. just to make sure we didn't miss any red coins. Aha, we would have. Excellent. Okay, that went better. I think we're close to the end of the level now. Only, again, four red... three red coins and one flower. The fact that there are three red coins left makes me a little anxious that we may have missed one. Okay, I hate it how, like, sometimes when you get hit by an enemy, you... You can, like, immediately start running again, and other times it's like, oh, well, now you're stunned for, like, five seconds. Alright. I hope three red coins and one flower are over here. There's a flower. This is looking a bit promising. There we go. Cool. So they're all gonna be here. Every everything is here. <sighs> she gets hit from like she gets touched by anything. way to go. Oh, do we have to coax Stilt Guy into the sea? I'm not using the power up until I reach the end, because of things like that, that can happen. Why we grind up on mini games? This is why we grind up on mini games. Booyah! Okay, Lake Shore Paradise. That is a fun level. It was a little irritating getting everything, but I like the design of the level. Giant lake. At sunset. I mean, every level in this world is at sunset, but. Eh. 100 points. Thus far, only level 3 was elusive in the 100 point department. Match cards and get items. Cool. Let's start with the one I want. Mm -hmm. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't remember where the rest are. Nope. Okay, I remember the rest. So we'll save the question mark ones for the end, because I don't care about those. We'll get the ice melon. There we go. Okay, I'm actually pretty good at the matching game. Dun 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 up! Alright. I know the stream's gone on for a bit long, but we're gonna try to finish World 4. I think we can do it. I think the last... This level, uh, 4-7, I think is pretty short, and then level 8 I, is one of my favorites. Level 7, Ride Like the Wind! So we're at the depths of sunset right now. I think Gimmick at this level are those platforms. Are you... Are you for realsies? Like I said, this next level should be pretty short. Ride like the wind, bullseye. That works. I like the main gimmick for this level, but being the platforms that go all over the place at really high speeds. This level's almost like a puzzle level. I kind of like the puzzle levels. Within reason, there's one puzzle level I remember being exceedingly annoying. Thankfully, that's not until World 8. Or World 8. There aren't 8 worlds. World 6. Okay, really? How is that fair? Also, there's no place to get eggs here. Koopa, you'll do. Oh wow, Penguin Man uh, just vanished. <sighs> sometimes you jump on the Koopas and sometimes you don't. Ah, Gusties, stop it! Oh, we forgot to grind up on more star power level ups. Oh! Darn it, Gusties! Wow. I've heard of people respawning on screen frequently, but this is ridiculous. Alright. I gotta get up there. How do I get up there? 
Ow. How would you... How would you know to do that? Like, how would you know? Oh no, not this thing again. Okay, well that was fun, but... <laughs> oh no, speaking of things that are fun, not this. Helicopter Yoshi is, uh, not much fun. It's just uncontrolled. Alright, I'm gonna have to just hope that all these are red coins. Alright, there we go. Probably to a minigame hut. You know how popular those are with the ladies. Wait. That is the path that leads to destruction! Clever. Okay, I actually like that puzzle. Kind of tricky to pull off, but... Oh boy, it's the worst one. <gasps> oh, yes! Plus 20! Best power-up! Now we can go on the path of this structure. Oh my gosh. We got 100%. We didn't even need to power up! Oh, that feels good. Dun 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 bonus game! Oh, that was, that was a beautiful level. I don't like getting those red coins at the end, because the controls, when you're going at high speed on those platforms, can get a little wonky. But we did it! I, re I knew that level was fairly short. Get one upset with the roulette. Okay, we get one up. So the, actually, the best combination you can get is plus three, because that will give you four. One plus three. Alright, this is one of my favorite levels of the game, right here. 
Level 4-8, Hookbill the Koopa's Castle. This is gonna be the last level we do this stream. We got some ghost guys to begin with. Nothing out of the ordinary. Why is it not letting me spit him out? There we go. In case you couldn't tell, Koopas are going to play a fairly big role in this level. We got the red, the red coins. This dungeon is just very well designed, and it has probably my favorite boss fight in the game at the end. Oh, hi. Ouch! You and your stupid maces. Wow, even the chain is deadly, apparently. I've dug on it of all the times to run out of eggs. That's a quick refill. Bloop. I love how this is like a darker version of the Psalm of Storms, almost. No, hit it up there. Come on, Yoshi! That's a cool puzzle. Gives us a flower. Nothing down there for me. explore down here that I wasn't able to go to because of those one-way gates. Curse those one-way gates. Oh, was that it? Whoops. See, I like it when the dungeons have, like, unique little puzzles you have to complete to get the flowers, because that actually makes sense because the flowers are the most, well, the best of all the collectibles. Oh wait, I see that over there. Oh hey! Giant milds. Sizable milds? That's it? All that for one red coin? I forgot about that. I feel like I remember this level fairly well. I don't remember that. Alright, gotta find a key. As you can see, the arrows make this very, very clear. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, we 
need a Koopa. So that gives a one up. That's nice. Ha 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 ha! How do you like that? See, there's a lot of really cool, unique puzzles here. You can also eat the ball at the top and then drag it over here and use that to get up as well. So there's actually a couple of ways to do it. There we go! Now we've got our key. Oh yeah, fishing lag at you. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. No. Knock it off, fishing lag at you. You bad boy. Yep, last free red coins. And I do believe these are the last of the flowers. red eggs. There we go. We're maxed out at everything. Time for the best boss in the game. One of them. Top two. Little checkpoint in the boss room, which is cool. It's a life, lovely foggy day. Little Koopa, come through for me now! Go and rock Yoshi's world! And ladies and gentlemen, meet. Hook Bill the Koopa. So you can jump on him and make him cough up eggs for you. Yes, and eventually he gets up. We can pelt him with eggs. Then ground pound. This ain't no simple boss without oh, And I can't get red eggs. Yeah, he can be a tough one to 100%. Hi, baby Mario. <laughs> Buyo, Dark Buyo, she's like, why do I always have to fight these big bosses? What tan Yoshi do it? It's not like he does much. That's okay, we get to restart right from the boss room.
Yeah, avoiding that uh, shell slam attack is definitely irritating if he gets you cornered. I wonder if you can hit him with a shell while he's doing that to make him stop. I haven't tried that. What? I call bull on that. Okay, I just want to test my hypothesis. Oh, and I get... Never mind, I get my stars back. Because I have all those red eggs. Well, didn't get to test my hypothesis. This side. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now when he stands up, he's gonna start charging us. Oh, I thought he would. I thought he would charge at us. Nope, there we go. Blam. Crushed his shell and then shrunk him, apparently. We beat World 4! We get another tiny key! Do we even use these for anything? Maybe at the end. 30 stars, 20 red coins, 5 flowers. We got 100 points! And we opened up bonus 4. Only level 3 was a butt. Kind of surprised Marching Mill didn't give me more trouble. But there we go! Yoshi ran through the forests, inflated the tower, and blew it up. And we cleared World 4! Nice. So now we're on World 5, but that is all the time we have for this stream today, everybody. Thank you for joining in, though. That was a whole bunch of fun. I'm not sure if we'll be able to beat the next two worlds all in one stream next week. We'll have to see about that, because this is where the levels start getting really, really difficult. But thank you all for joining in. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a great time. As salty as I was, I did enjoy playing this a whole lot. But now I have to give my ears a rest, because my headphone is starting to hurt me a little bit. So... Thank you all for tuning in, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.